get hidden it's like makeup yeah <laughs> it's like makeup seriously <laughs> wait stage name what do you mean wa enyo mejitruma Hi guys, welcome back to A Girl from the Rift and welcome back to yet another episode of Books Aside. If you're new here, please go ahead and click that subscribe button, click the like like button and also the share button. Yeah, so today I have an interesting guest with us and I want to ask you one thing. Have you ever had a lot of bottles and you don't know what to do with it? I have. So stay tuned. all my my socials like mm-hmm. on youtube and the twitter mm-hmm. and the facebook and mm-hmm. the insta mm-hmm. i'm a tiktok na tunia jina demokul ah okay mm. actually nilikupata tiktok and it's very interesting tiktok inafanya maneno right yeah yeah yeah, yeah that's why you are mainly based on ama... actually tiktok ime come around uh, later mm-hmm. but before kulikuwa obviously tulikuwa instagram mm-hmm. youtube ah, mm-hmm. na pia facebook mm-hmm. niko na hizo accounts zote na nimekuwa nikipost kwa zote ah. but kule enye ili pick ni tiktok yeah that's right so yeah tuambie ni nini exactly unafanya so basically kenye what nafanya ni mm-hmm. bottle cutting service mm-hmm. but workshop ni kubwa mm-hmm. mimi na kwa kama extension mm-hmm. tunafanya glass work mm-hmm. primarily Mm-hmm. So tunafanyanga shop inaitwa glass solution mm-hmm. such that if you have a problem mm-hmm. maybe with glass mm-hmm. so it doesn't have to be a bottle mm-hmm. inaweza kuwa pia ni any type of glass maybe mm-hmm. a table glass ama inaweza kuwa ni uh, windows inataka mm-hmm. we do that anything to uh-huh. do with glass okay. so the bottle work inaitwa mm-hmm. kama extension mm-hmm. ili kuja later mm-hmm. but in the beginning tulikuwa tunafanya primarily just like the normal glasses oh. simanishi like the drinking glasses na eh. like window, window. pens mm-hmm. uh, table glasses mirrors mm-hmm. those kind of things how did you start this or since when do ulijipata umeingia kwa hii industry so the glass business mm. imeko in the family mm-hmm. like ever since i was small mm. tumekuwa in the glass industry in the glass, in the glass industry mm-hmm. tumekuwa tukisell glass uh-huh. so hadi hapa malituko sasa hivi tukosia kimao tu kukua huku like ah. before tulikuwa tunaishi geto kwa kibera ah oh, okay yeah. so huko ndio shop ilikuwa so watu kaenda huko mm. bado kuna hiyo shop bado hiyo shop oh okay but sana a, a, a family member ndo ana operate oh okay ndio sasa hivi tuko hizo yeah but um, you you have used that to your advantage umeji stem out ukaji create a platform when you are you're running the business right now yeah. so walk us through the journey from ukitoka shule up to where transitioning into this back in the day in the campus uh, meru university mhm you connect in it on most meru university of science and technology yeah yeah nilikuwa nimeenda huko kusoma but nikiwa huko nilipata ju IT um, in a come along with computers nilikuwa nafanya advertising kama side hustle. Oh, yeah. uh-huh. so anytime kulikuwa na event ina come up mm. ama mtu anataka ku organize a show mm-hmm. mimi nilikuwa nawafanyia advertising <laughs> such that kuunda tickets, ku make hizo posters zenye sawa ta weka uh, around the school to yeah. advertise now. Mm of which ni skill ina company help hadi sahi mm-hmm. kwa bottle work mm-hmm. ju, ile time yenye tunafanya now the logo work ama tunataka ku brand a bottle mm-hmm. that's when now the skill when i come through yeah so you do everything with the bottle from a mpaka z yeah so we do everything we cut the bottle until it's a finished product mm-hmm. yeah and it doesn't matter if the bottle is yours ama if the bottle is mine Mm-hmm. So what we charge mostly is the service of now cutting the glass transforming it now to the mm. to be a glass a mm. flower vase a tumbler 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. So, at what point did you only graduate from Shule? Mo- most? Messi graduate. Uh, uh, uli amua to switch. Uh, mainly quit. At what point do exactly uli amua apa na me I'm just going back to do this thing? Yeah. So, be, Miss Kukuja like direct click from your bottles. Mm-hmm. Your time will come up on your advertising. Mm-hmm. So, you'll go already in Shamba Kupata clients mm. when you want to advertising. Mm-hmm. When you're going to be bad, you're going to be a good one. Trans Africa College, you're going to be a good one. You're going to be social media marketing. Oh. I still continue to do that. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. So, you'll be able to get clients. Mm. Yeah. So, at some point, it will mm. make sense. Uh, the whole thing because mm-hmm. i was already getting work even mm. without the papers yeah okay yeah so you from then okay okay so to work. Mm-hmm. so um jizo time mm-hmm. when i stay uko mm-hmm. like you are back in the day in school mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so when you come Okay, during uh, when you go to a close school, mm-hmm. you don't need to bottle work. Like said, you see, you don't need the glass work. You don't need to do But during uh, times when you close, I'm not to go on holidays. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the times when you need to mostly na fanya. Mm-hmm. But then you keep cutting in your school. You don't mm-hmm. remember school in Bali. So you go to another abandon. You know your meaning in life. Ah. Yeah, so eventually when you need um, just to put it aside uh-huh. and then a room, uh-huh. you have to stay now for good. Uh-huh. You have to start to focus on everything. Uh-huh. Because now I could still do my work uh-huh. and still do the bottle work. Because uh-huh. the bottle work, you uh-huh. come on orders. Uh-huh. I can't be throughout the uh-huh. whole period. Uh-huh. In a kwang on orders. So later uh-huh. when you have to orders, that's uh-huh. okay. We do the orders. Uh-huh. When there are no orders, you still uh-huh. get got to eat mm-hmm. so you still have to hustle so yeah. you find a bad advertising mm-hmm. and some other jobs too what? so like you're juggling between so many things at the same time yeah, yeah. i was scared to come somehow in a conga overwhelming at some point um ingekuwa overwhelming kama ningekuwa nafanya peke yangu mm. but ni kona backbone poor at mm-hmm. least my family na ni support mm-hmm. um adi um my e job mm-hmm. the, the nature of the business mm-hmm. it, it may come like as a hustle business mm-hmm. so it may create peer employment mm-hmm. to even uh, extension to some of my friends yeah so unapata peer my friends when we have orders may I just tell them we all there are a hundred bottles that need to be cut mm-hmm. they come mm-hmm. we do the order together mm-hmm. we split mm-hmm. uh, the cash I'll pay them. Yeah. yeah. May I get some? The business still retain some for the business because mm. the business still needs to run. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So basically, in that way, I'm going to get support enough mm. for it not to be overwhelming. I'm going to get the support and give up. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I I have another question with um, with regards to like your clients right now. Mm-hmm. Um, Majorly, where do you get your clients at the moment with this... Um, it's sort of a decorative industry, isn't it? It's sort of a lot of decorations. Yeah, to uh-huh. like um, after someone has already like built the house, mm. they've already like done the building. Mm. That's where we now come in. Let's say now with the deco. Mm-hmm. Yeah, decos, mirrors. Mm-hmm. So it's after someone has already done. Mm. And then some of the clients we get now from the bottle work because mm. there are glass clients and mm-hmm. there are bottle clients. Yeah. So let's mm-hmm. focus on the bottle clients then, uh-huh. for now uh-huh. so the bottle clients mm-hmm. sana sana wanakuwa ni clubs mm-hmm. eh, hotels mm-hmm. eh, people sasa wenye wako na, wanataka sasa zao za nyumba mm-hmm. and then sasa kuna watu wenye wanafanya eh, easy ma ndazita kuna watu wanafanya anga sasa deco mm-hmm. where they you find unaza pato kwa na product yangu mm. but you didn't buy it directly from me mm-hmm. so there are people who buy products for me they have uh, deco shops so oh, unaza pata yeah. products when you buy kwangu oh. then they resell them they are sort of uh, you sort of become a supplier to them yeah i sort of become a supplier to okay. them okay yeah, so, so those are my, my main clients mm-hmm. do you ever get like do you ever get some crazy drama with clients when mm. you unaongea now yeah 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 so kuna the main um kwa bottle work the mm-hmm. main uh, the biggest issue in kuanga easy bottles tunazifanya mm-hmm. in the name of recycling sindio like mm-hmm. getting it off the street yes, getting it true. off the of the of the, um, the 
road yes, yes, in yes, the yes. bottle there you want to recycle it repurpose uh-huh. it so uh-huh. that it can still be used uh-huh. apart from it being out there so, yeah. you know? uh-huh. so the major concern in kujanga kwa our resellers uh-huh. when yes wanna wanna preach wanna uh-huh. preach wanna fanya your recycling uh-huh. but uh-huh. it's like they are choosing which bottle they want to recycle yeah. so you find there are bottles someone uh-huh. doesn't want to recycle this bottle uh-huh. and attack could recycle a certain bottle specific yeah. uh, yeah. so in that kwa sababu ya hiyo nature of business mm-hmm. unakuja unapata um, kuna mtu tu atakuwa anataka maybe vases mm-hmm. so kama anataka tu hizi vases mm-hmm. ni kumaanisha ame disregard all the other yeah, type of bottles true. yet tuko in the name of recycling yeah. Yeah. so unapata mtu ana disregard mm-hmm. then some people wanakuanga so keen mm-hmm. like they don't even want their bottle to be scratched yeah And that is recycled. a very big challenge because we are recycling the we are not making hey, it from true, scratch true so it's not like longer. you're smelting or something yeah we are not smelting you're hey. just cutting hey. and, and polishing the ring yeah. not to be sharp hey. so unapata kuna watu wenye wana wako so keen kwa sababu wanaenda tena ku resell unataka ile product yake yenyewe ikae so unapata watu wengine wako very choosy unijafanya mm-hmm. mtu anataka kupea order ya 100 mm-hmm. and then akuja chagua same hizi 15 ndio iko poa oh no na sasa hii umekata na literally umeenda na order yake it's not fair it's not fair how do you deal with such a person now because of time mm-hmm. imenifanya ni adapt mm-hmm. so whenever i get an order of 100 mm-hmm. i do 120 whenever i get an order of 300 yeah. i do 350 because i know that person is going to come and choose, choose guy. so atapata bado order yake uh-huh. still the same number uh-huh. but nda uh-huh. bakina a few of my own uh-huh. and because we have a shop uh-huh. a physical shop uh-huh. where you can come we still have people who come by uh-huh. um the one now who wants uh, stuff for their homes how uh-huh. uh, we so choose so uh-huh. i still get to sell the product uh-huh. whether or not that person picks the product yeah. or not because i have uh, clients of my own that's true But that's interesting like how you find a way to just deal with the uh, such challenges kwa nini kwa industry um but yeah, it's all about ad- adaptability because you see even these ones mm-hmm. they had scratches on them mm-hmm. so for me to be able to still sell the glass it's and not pretty. put it on the road i can paint it uh-huh. so once i paint it Ayanikali. all the blemishes uh, get hidden it's like makeup yeah <laughs> it's like makeup seriously <laughs> Wow. Anyway, something you mentioned about um uh, recycling mm-hmm. and getting all these bottles. So now where do you source these bottles? Because of course I know that all over the place at Amia Joy sometimes you find yourself with some bottles and you don't know where to do or what to do with it. You end up throwing them away. So how do you source your bottles? Uh so we usually make trips mm-hmm. um uh to dump sites uh, mm-hmm. where we go and uh fetch now the bottles that we need mm-hmm. um, for example if you give us an order of 100 bottles mm-hmm. we will just go out there and Fine. search for the 100 bottles mm. and we will not charge you for the bottles we'll just charge you to cut the bottles wow. so because uh, we are already in the bottle business mm. let's not go in bottles of our own mm-hmm. like we we need to have bottles of our own because mm-hmm. uh, someone comes with a bottle mm-hmm. and it breaks Yeah so you, so you need you a have backup to, you have to replace that bottle for that someone because ana joy yangu ilikuwa ya Hennessy mm. when we came Johnny Walker That's true So inabidi hata umekuwa na bottles of your own mm. Another way that tumejipata tuna kwa na bottles za kama hatutaki unapata mm-hmm. mtu ame anakwambia I have bottles nataka nikatie mm-hmm. anakuja nazo akishafika hapa mm-hmm. anakuta mimi nimejipanga niko na za Johnny Walker niko mm-hmm. na za Hennessy mm-hmm. and then yeye maybe alikuwa amekaa na za Chrome yeah, mm-hmm. anaanza kuona mine now are more pretty than uh, even theirs yeah. so that person ends up dumping the bottles uh-huh. at my workshop and uh-huh. anambia wacha mimi nichukue hizi this is wow. smart okay. no, no. Yeah. so in with time uh-huh. i'm sure mimi hapo nje bottles ziko more sana true 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 yeah, nimeona so mm. nina end up bado kupata bottles mm. hata kama sijaenda kuitafuta yeah. but okay. here people wana coming in zao na bado tunazikata mhm so si lazima ikuwe pia yangu if you really in love with your bottle and you just want it to be your yako tutaitengeneza ah okay uh, you said like uh, the business started of sort of a family business mm. at some point did you get to a point in your video ume pump in some money for you to like shift to uh, this bottle work or something else um not really per se i wouldn't say ni me pump in money mm. 
Kenya na Zasema ni maybe me being there mm. maybe it may help the business to grow, to grow yeah. because um you see even before before even TikTok mm-hmm. eh, you were still getting orders mm-hmm. so the thing that has just happened is I've, I've extended now the service to, to now my clients okay. apart from the clients that mm-hmm. the family was still having yeah, yeah you've so, just helped to build more ca- customers yeah i have just helped like build more customers mm. in that way i wouldn't say i've pumped in money mm. no, not really okay the purpose of this video is basically to show people ideas and to also encourage somebody somewhere as kutu anaka chini ya kingoja kazi because nowadays kupata job is just a whole hustle yeah. right yeah. so uh, like i'm trying to help somebody to like give a kuenaka hope somewhere mm. that we, these things can be done and ideas yeah so you have uh, pulled yourself ukajingiza kwa business and you've helped it to grow mm. to this much and creating very beautiful things what is that one advice or even an advice that you would want to tell somebody uko nyumbani mwenye yako like maybe yako na idea jua cha kufanya cha kufanya you know uh, what i can say um, is there is always room for growth mm. um, and not to give up mm-hmm. um, not to give up basically um, because uh, if personally if i did give up mm. uh, there is so much mm. in the kwa like it may go to waste because mm-hmm. not even apart from me because mm-hmm. um from what ni me contribute to the business so like all of that hanging kwa mm-hmm. so mimi nazaka kuambia pale um, hata kama hakuna employment you can still um push yourself to find something mm-hmm. that can bring some money even if not um starting the whole business because you see now we still um up from my from my followers mm-hmm. i have people wananiambia hata mimi nataka kuanza such a business yeah. you know, unemployed for quite some time na nataka kuanza biz ah mm-hmm. uh, ndafanya aje mm-hmm. unaona ananiuliza ndatoa api hiyo bottle cutting machine unaona know, mm-hmm. and i we have been so good mm-hmm. like this is like genuinely mm-hmm. from the bottom of our hearts mm-hmm. every machine that we use here for bottle cutting mm-hmm. it was not bought somewhere mm-hmm. it was all made here on the workshop from scratch wow so the people when you when you approach uh-huh. and they can attest uh-huh. when you when you approach you can and i really saw we really saw them wako na hiyo will uh-huh. wanataka ku start biz uh-huh. utaona hapo kuna machine tunawatengenezea uh-huh. ya ku cut bottle which is a risk to me because like um, uh-huh. they might end up getting some of my clients yeah. right? which is what i'm saying is like from the bottom of uh uh-huh, hearts yeah, yeah. So we do make these machines for someone mm-hmm. akataka kuanza mm-hmm. business mm-hmm. yeah and these machines need like um, you just plug it in and you start working mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah it as you it as you go through to there's no problem. yeah we'll show them we'll just show them if it's a mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so um kuna hadi watu wenye wana resell mm-hmm. hata kama una hiyo funding ya kupacha some machine mm-hmm. kuna watu wana come wana buy products mm-hmm. na wanaenda wana resell even at another price yes. so you you see you still make money yeah. as you save up to to start to the business, start the business. Yeah. so it all comes with your will how much you're willing to like um, rest push yourself, push yourself mm. uh, into a business because that mean me wana watu ana boutique yet mm. ameanza thrift shop anaenda gikombana mm. mm-hmm. ana zipost pale kwa stories ana zipost pale online mm. na anapata tu clients that's true so ni really kuko na hiyo will ya kujitu na kujituma yeah so where else can we find you so like i've said the uh, mm. no cool like kwa platform zote na ipo food no cool aha eh hiyo tu ndio my my major name like yeah. stage name back in the day aha <laughs> uh-huh. yeah. so um wait uh, stage name what do you mean i do poetry and music on the side wow that, uh-huh. that was the name that if i do go on stage that's the name i use So, okay. So, uh, I'm still the no cool from the people who saw me performing. Yeah. That's that's interesting like wa enye umejituma honestly. Hata nataka kuanza kutumia audio zangu kwa TikTok. Ah, okay. But me, basically the reason why my TikTok blew up mm. is because of the audio. The yeah. first video I used mm. it had an audio that it like, was sort of um, inambia wase wajipush. Uh-huh. And I uh, mm. uh, a chance to yeah, say audio. Nilianga wajipush, wajitume. 
asikae yeah so hiyo audio ili, ili push sana busy yako hiyo video kufikia watu wengi because ilikuwa ngani it was hustling yeah. and then you're still telling people they have to hustle yeah so yeah some people go mad mm. but i don't use that audio anymore hata mm. niambia kuna audio mingi mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah. ukajaribu kutumia yeah, sawa bado zina work mm. it's true that that would be this i could call intentional mm. and to tiktok na watu you just find an idea this is interesting let me use this idea um so glad that at least you gave us time literally tumeongea tuna yeye like a day ago and you had agreed to do this um i wanted to if you're okay there's something that i wanted to ask i don't know if you'll be willing to share it out um uh-huh. why did you uh, uh, leave school uh it's because um at the time like i said before at the time um the kind of um ventures i was uh, after mm-hmm. i just saw um, i wouldn't have to need the papers yeah. so it's not something that i would advise someone uh, yeah. it's a decision that was fully because of um, mm. me mm. and uh, my pathway forward oh okay that's a very big leap. I could let her she die as I. Ah, you know kuanga too bad. It all worked out for me. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Some decisions in as are scary but mm-hmm. you never know how it it will turn out to be. Mm-hmm. So just take that leap of faith. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And it doesn't mean that now you are a failure. You're not a failure. Yeah. Because even apart from the bottle business, me just contribute. Mm. Sina kwambia do we do hire some people mm. yeah, when the fathers are there. Yeah. yeah. So it's just that when I'm here mm. I do record some videos, I do push them out there. Mm. Yeah, and I do even help in the cutting. Mhm. Hizo boots ni zangu, mimi zivaa na nina. Na nina ingia kwa ground. All right, thank you so much for uh, giving us your time. Mm-hmm. And I know you would be doing something else right now. Yeah. Tunashukuru sana. Um you guys um you've had a lot of uh information about the business and you had a lot of advice from him please ski askia no ski vizuri anyway thank you so much for hanging out until the end um i'll share his contacts so that you can be able to look at what he does and you can also be able to contact him if you need anything so until next time it's time to say bye